So, hey, check out my beautiful Christmas tree here. Family decorated it. They did a great job. Very interesting though. Um, yesterday, uh, we got this Saturday. Um, and then yesterday, Sunday, uh, we were, my wife and I were watching TV and we heard a frog croaking. Um, and we looked around the house. We asked the kids if they were pranking us and no. And apparently we actually have a frog in the Christmas tree. Uh, we got a good picture. I'll, I'll phase into that. But so the, we got the tr Christmas tree. That This is either a tree that came from Washington or Oregon. Um, you know, here we are in Northern California. And my theory, the working theory is that the, the tree frog was on the tree, was hibernating. And then once we brought it inside, it woke up from its hibernation. And so I heard it. Yeah, we heard it once Sunday afternoon, and then I heard it twice in the middle of the night, um, late Sunday night. Uh, beautiful little frog. Uh, we want to try to safely catch it so we could get it outside. I've worked at the Boy Scout Christmas tree lot here in, here in Davis before, and we have found old wasp nests. We've, we've found a bat once, um, and there's been some bird nests. But this is the first I've heard of somebody actually bringing a frog into their house because it was on the tree and we shook it up and uh, the boys did a fresh cut with a chains or the adults did a chainsaw and uh, they, we trimmed branches off the base but sure enough um, we now have a frog in our house in the water bucket at the bottom of the uh, tree. Here's actually a picture that we captured by sticking the phone into um, the tree. And it's a Pacific green frog. So cute little guy. We don't want to hurt it. Uh, we want to make sure it gets outside and uh, lives or provides food for something else. So, But uh, first time ever that I've ever seen or heard of a tree frog being on somebody's Christmas tree.